they saw my locomotive, they like, wow, that is chaos. There's stuff everywhere. But you know what? That's control chaos. So what you're looking at there, we're looking at a ESU 21 pin motherboard. Or oh, sorry, decoder there. Now it's sitting and connected to a decoder body by Nick's Trains. Also, with Nick's Trains, we're using your um, step lights and ground lights. And for the speaker, we're using this new guy here from Bowser. So hopefully that uh, sounds good there. We're just trying this out and see uh, what's happening with that. And also we are using uh, a current keeper here to keep the power running on dirty track. So this is a custom locomotive here. Um, I admit that some things I did do wrong, which is here on the trucks. I I don't know. I, I, <sighs> I drilled out the roller bearings. I stuck the uh, ones on here. On the other side is flush, other side a little sunken in, plus the wheels go in and out too. So it's kind of like, you know, one of the things that you not nah, messed up on. I'm not afraid to admit that's the custom piece, so it's mine. But just let you know if you say, hey, Rich, that don't look right. But yeah. So looking at how to wire this up. Now, if you look at the Dakota Buddy uh, paperwork here. Now, on this side of the Dakota Buddy, now if you look here. Now this is where your uh, positive go at, which your red wires go at, if you're using black and a red here. And your black colors will go in these slots here. Now, for NMRA standards, it's uh, color-coded, so if you see that the uh, white arrow here, and here's a yellow arrow. Now if you go to the, to the, A diagram here and you see you follow the yellow it goes to the rear headlight and now if you follow the white it goes to the headlight so that's how you wire the headlight and the uh, rear light and it's on the top is front the top the bottom is rear and it's orientation now if you go see here a uh, front these are the uh, positives so you connect your uh, red wires here and here you see the uh, functions so right away you see function number let's see number one two three four five six so if you look at it here you see one here two three four the four got the uh it's too much here but <laughs> yeah four Five, six. So you got six functions that you uh, can use with this uh, decoder body. It's a very simple, easy to use. And like the front of it, you can apply the red or positive uh, Lega LED right here. So you can see here on the card. But make sure you keep this. Don't throw this away as soon as you get it. Anyway, uh, moving on. Now on the other side, on this decoder body, you see that your track a and track B uh, pickups and you got the positive and minus on the uh, speakers but if you can see right here top is uh, A B plus and minus on the speakers so this is what we got uh, right here and you can see it written here on the board itself so all you pretty much gotta do at the end is a place your 21 dependent decoder in the slots here just follow the orientation you see because on top is missing a, uh, a prong and it's blanked out here on the board itself, so you can't get that uh, mixed up. So it won't let you set it down on there. Now, I'm starting over here for, for our speakers. You got two sugar cube speakers from uh, Bowser here, uh, new to the market. Got it from, uh, of course, I got everything from a uh, wide uh, Yankee Dabbler there. Um, so, I was trying out new stuff. So, if it sounds good, it's for 12 bucks, it's not bad for a um, speaker. But now, here I ran into a problem. If you see before that had this current keeper inside the radiator. There we go. Inside the radiator and top. So this is uh used the current keeper too. And I think I could slide this in here because I didn't test with this first. I did the first one with the other speaker, which is fine. Then I added this one from Bowser. And but it just didn't want to close. So I got this one here. And let's do it live. 
stick it down in there. And also what's cool was I had the quick connect connectors here. I just pulled it out and stuck this one the other end back in here. So it's uh, pretty cool. So just laid it down in here and get everything laid. Push that on. Let's see. Alright, let's lift this up, see if I got it. So this side look cool. Alright, this side right here I get fixed. So let's press this down. 